everybody, this is your stressed out seamstress, Amber from TSA Thread. <laughs> There's been a lot going on. Um, I have basically realized that it, it's a month until um, IRCC is due. Overall, I've just been kind of starting to get a little nervous and stressed out because I want to get the stuff done, but at the same time, there's that like, ugh, I'm never gonna get this done. And um, whatever, I mean, that's what this is. Oh, and if you're wondering the reason why I tend to have music in the background with my talking, it's because um, there are other human beings. They are small and they are downstairs and they run around a lot and they scream a lot. So that's why that happens. So I don't really have much to show you this week, except I thought maybe I'd just do like a little update on how things are going or not going. For instance, I made a show peen. I made one. Here it is. It's actually really cool, but I have to make another one and I haven't done that yet. So I guess I'm gonna hobble around on one foot. I don't know. I don't know if this is going, I don't even know if this is going to actually get finished by the time that the, the competition is over. So what are some other things? My heater just decided to kick on. I have a foot heater because my sewing room, as I've said before, is like one of the coldest places in the house. Hold on a second. No, I don't need you right now. What else have I been doing? I'm gonna show some footage of the fitted gown because that's where I'm, I'm at at the moment. It's like a gown that's fitted in the front and then it's loose in the back and really cool looking. I've got most of that accomplished. The um, embroidery is stitched on the front section um, and now I'm in the middle of making barragoni. And barragoni, I feel like barragoni, they're the little um, poofs on the, or the sleeve caps that are all poofy that you see on the outermost garment, uh, like the Vesta or the Zimara or um, this half gown, I'm not really quite sure how to, what to call it. Sleeves in general, they always seem to be so hard. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's because I, I tend to focus so much on the body of the garment and then they kind of end up as like a, a like a last minute thought and then and then you're like, oh my god, how do they do this? Because you look at it and you're like, oh, that's just so simple. It's just a couple of loops done. But then you're like, well, well then how do they get the loops to stand up? What, what is this like linen, like poofy stuff coming out of the sides? Like that's not just the kamicha. No, no offense or anything, but like kamichas generally don't have a ton of fabric like right here. And maybe I'm wrong about that one. I, like, I personally believe that false linen was put into sleeves so that you didn't have to constantly worry about pulling your sleeves out all the time in order to get the right effect. Maybe not all the time, but I think they still did it. Um, and actually, in, I think the last gown that I showed you when I was getting dressed, you can see I actually stitched fake linen on because I was like, nope, I want this to be the same all the time. So don't tell me that they didn't do that back then. Don't tell me that didn't happen. Long rant about linen that has nothing to do with my project. This is going swimmingly. <laughs> I have to say, I am the most insecure about sitting in front of a camera and talking. Uh, I don't know what that's about. I think it's because you're trying so hard to stay on topic and I just generally don't. I just generally wander about to various different places. Often, sometimes my brain will just go off into places that aren't even related to costuming. I don't know. I believe that I have come up with a system for making the poofies on the sleeves and hoping that what I do actually makes them stand up properly. We, we shall see. I think all this trim and the interlining is gonna make them stiff enough that I can at least arrange them when I want to. <laughs> they won't just flatten out and putter out, hopefully. Hopefully. Allegedly. Finally just decided to completely like stop working on the farthing kale. I went in and I added more hoops. I was going to line it, but then apparently when you add more hoops, you end up with more weight. Yeah, that's not that's not happening. I finally decided to just be like, this is good enough. I'm I'm at a good place. Yes, there are stitches on the inside where I stitched 
these things. Ugh. Actually, I have a cut of it on the floor. These are the hoops. Maybe someday I will try it with cane. But yeah, so these are the hoops. They're wrapped in a cotton velveteen, and then I stitched them to the exterior of the silk. The point was, <laughs> what was the point? Find it, find it, where is it? Oh yes, so the point is, is that I do have exposed um, stitching on the back, on the inside of the farthingale. And when I looked in Patterns of Fashion, it does look like the linen one that they inspected actually does have the same. And in fact, they have wire that's been whipped to the inside for more stability. So yes, it's not lined. Yes, it probably would have been lined. Um, but you know, you've got to You've got to compromise between historic accuracy and function and practicality and being realistic. So I think I accomplished all of those things. <sighs> so that's really pretty much that all, that's everything that's left. And I tend to like to be the person who focuses on one thing at a time. Now I'm getting to the point where I have to focus on multiple things and it's not really my forte but I'm gonna try to pull it all together. Right now I'm focusing on getting the fitted gown done because if I can just get the basic elements of it done and I don't get all of the trim on it, that's fine. I will add it later. Um, I'm just trying to prioritize in my mind. If the shoes don't get done, that's fine. I can make them at another time. They don't need to be finished for it. I'm just trying to <sighs> de-stress. I'm trying, trying to maintain my cool. That is my update for this month. By the end of next month, let's hope I have something fun for you to see. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram. I post in progress photos all the time. You may not, I may not explain what they are actually, but um, that's fun. I'm now on TikTok because why didn't I discover TikTok sooner? That's hilarious. That place is awesome. There are other places to follow progress so you don't have to wait for a video. And if you want to hang out until I have finished the entire garment, then I'm guessing that's what the next video is going to be about. So take care, happy holidays, and see you soon. Thank you.